Hi friends, this is your A nurser with a new problem. The problem reads like this. If three numbers are in the ratio 2 is 2, 3 is 2, 5 and the twice of their sum is 100, find the square of the largest of the three numbers. This question is given in RRB NTPC 2016. So let me read the problem again. If three numbers are in the ratio 2 is 2, 3 is 2, 5, find and the twice of their sum is 100, find the square of the largest of the three numbers. So let the first number be 2x. Then second number will be 3x and third number will be 5x. What is given? Twice of their sum is 100. Twice of their sum means 2x plus 3x plus 5x is given how much? 100. So, the sum of 2x plus 3x plus 5x is how much? 10x. 2 into 10x is equal to 100. Or 20x is equal to 100. Or x is equal to 100 by 20. That means x is equal to 5. So your first number will be how much? 2 into 5. 10. Your second number will be 5 into 3. 15. And your third number will be 5 into 5, 25. What you need to find? You need to find the square of the largest of the three numbers. What is the largest number? 25. What is the square of 25? 265. So your answer is B, 625. So, what is the answer? The square of the largest number 25 square means 625. So now the second question. If n is to 35 is as 3 is to 57, then find n. Again I am reading. If n is to 38 is as 3 is to 57, find n. This question appeared in RRB NTPC 2016. So let us solve n is to 38 is equal to or is as 3 is to 57. So if this type of questions are given, you have to see the product of the interiors will be equal to the product of exteriors. That means 57n is equal to 3 into 38 r n is equal to 3 into 38 by 57. So now you cancel 3 and 57. 3 1 ja 3. Uh, 3 1 ja 3 and 3 9 ja 27. 19 1 ja 19 2 ja. So what is the value of n? n is equal to 2. So now let us see the next sum. The next sum reads like this. If A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3 and B is to C is equal to 5 is to 7, find A is to B is to C and A is to C. Let me read the sum again. If A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3, and b is to c is equal to 5 is to 7 find a is find a a is to b is to c b a is to c so let me write down the details what are given a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 and b is to c is equal to 5 is to 7 what we need to do we have to equate b in both the equations for that 
the first equation is to be multiplied by this 5 and the second one will be multiplied by 3. So what happens a is to b is equal to 10 is to 15 b is to c is equal to 15 is to 21. So now you can write a is to b is to c is equal to 10 is to 15 is to 21 or second one. What is the second? a is to c is equal to 10 is to 21. So I think you understood how to solve if this type of a equation is given. Now let us go to another one. If 4a is equal to 5b and 8b is equal to 9c, find a is to b is to c. Let me read again. If 4a is equal to 5b and 8b is equal to 9c, find a is to b is to c. So let us write down the details what are given. Or a by b is equal to what I did. I brought this b this side and I take this 4 to other side. So 5 by 4. 8b is equal to 9c or b by c is equal to I brought this c this side. I take this 8 to this, that side. So 9 by 8. We can write this one as like this. A is to B is equal to 5 is to 4. B is to C is equal to 9 is to 8. Like your previous sum, we have to equate B. So for this, first equation is to be multiplied by 9. And second equation is to be multiplied by 4. So A is to B is equal to 20 is to Sorry, a is to b is equal to 9 5 45 is to 36. Or b is to c is equal to 9 4 ja 36 is to 8 4 ja 32. Or a is to b is to c is equal to 45 is to 36 is to 32. I think you understood these problems. So tomorrow again I come up with a new lesson. Till then have a nice day. Bye bye.